Hello and welcome everyone. This is John RMS, aka Ace Bullion here, and today I have a, another sponsored uh, video brought to you by the Silver Trader. So please go over, check out my description, click on his link, and also click on my link as well. You, you'll be able to find details to both of our websites, uh, but it's just a super video. So what do I have today? Well, you can see here I got a lot of silver in the background. That's super cool. That's awesome for pouring. And yes, I have been pouring, just not recently on camera. So I have a coin to review. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I have a 2020 right now. Oh yeah, here it is. And you know, before I begin, I want to wish my son a happy birthday. I am now a parent of a teenager. Really? A teenager? Okay. Oh, on the 4th of July, my my youngest son becomes into two digits, so he'll be 10. I'm getting old. All right. So, here we go. So, today's my son's birthday. I've snuck off. I'm here for this 2020 awesome coin. And it is awesome. It's a 2020 Elizabeth II Noon $2. Ooh, New Zealand Mint. There we go. So, I'm pretty sure, by the way, that this little grubby bits. Yeah, as you can see, that it's reflection. Sorry, it is on the capsule. So we have Queen Elizabeth here, the second, wearing a lovely crown, earrings, no pearls whatsoever, and... A little bit younger. I swear they're cheating and they're making these um, queen coins to be a little bit younger. Oh, yeah, because there's no no longer this definition here where they used to have a lot of ridge marks to show her age. And I'm pretty sure everyone's trimming off a bit, but oh well. Let's not pick on the queen, shall we? No. I think she's... Uh, She's fantastic. So, what do I have? Well, I have a reeded edge. It's a coin. Face value, $2 from the island of Noon. New Zealand Mint. And here we get to go into some awesome, radical, just unbelievable details. Now, this is the Hawksbill Turtle. Um, also known as the Taku. Um, and, uh, yeah, it is one of New Zealand's uh, mints, just awesome coins at the moment. I, I really do love it. And why I love it is that from a diving perspective, it really kind of gives me the, the image, if you like, of actually being over the turtle as it's below me. Now, for any other diver out there, you're going to totally understand what I mean by this. So like right here, you're kind of just coming down into the water. So you'll have, you know, a bit off to the side in your mask. And then right below you is going to be this lovely sea turtle. So, all right, let's dive into the coin rather than my life experiences here. Right? All right. So we have written in high gloss and in matte finish turtle. And I like, by the way, how you just get the clip there of the bubble coming into it. And also uh, the rear um, leg there of the turtle, the rear uh, flipper. Don't say that in diving, by the way. The turtle itself, I love how they've done it in almost a... Uh, I don't know how to put it the best way. is a... It's not a comical, but it's more... It's a very artistic design. I'm, I'm sorry, the words escape me as to how I could abstract, perhaps. I mean, you can see there that there is a turtle face, if you look very carefully, such as the eye and everything. But it is very much an abstract design. Um, and then, of course, you have the satin finish with raised bits and they are raised 
which are the bubbles coming up from, you know, around and beneath uh, the turtle. You have the sandy bed, which again has uh, another unique texture to it. And then, like everyone, everyone right now is doing this, and I like it, where they have the fine silver 999 one ounce, and it is small, it really is tiny. And it's something that, you know, let's zoom out, let's let's put this at a, a normal kind of, sorry, there you go, normal kind of coin view. So this is what you, you're gonna be looking at. And again, you know, you can see that there's something on the side, but, you're gonna have to really go right up close a bit. Perhaps I would say realistically, that would be my perspective. Let's just double check the camera to verify. I probably could see a little bit more. I could probably see. That's what I could see. So, but yeah, what I'm really enjoying is the fact that they've made that extra small, extra fine. And the whole focus is just on this turtle, this kind of half crescent moon shape. And you can interpret it any way you like to. You could interpret it as you're entering the water, you know, you have a mask and snorkel or you have um, whatever behind you. And, uh, or you could just, you know, imagine that, I don't know, it's part of the moon or something. Um, the Lunar series looks rather familiar to that, but... Um, perhaps it's a, a recycled version of that. I don't know. Um, but I do like it, you know, nonetheless. I think it is one of, just, uh, it, it's a must-have for me. It's one of those that I will be adding, you know, uh, to my collection. It is just pretty. There's nothing offensive. There's nothing rude about it. There's nothing that would say oh don't buy it it's not really for me or uh, equally saying that there's nothing that's going to say hey look you know stockpile a bunch of these because they're going to be worth a fortune either so uh, taking that onto consideration as well um, if you would be buying something like this you're going to be buying one or two as a collector this is not the type of coin i could see in the future fetching you know, like my two ounce Homer Simpson family, you know, fetching, you know, 400 plus uh, pounds. It's ridiculous. Um, this is a type of coin that, you know, you might see, you know, uh, you, well, you'll definitely see spot, you know, regardless. But would you see the return? Most likely, I, you know, I could see that this would probably give you your return back. Uh, but that's my opinion. That's all it is. An opinion, okay? Uh, I'm not a financial advisor or expert. So whatever I say, it's more about the prettiness of this thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm curious to know. What's your opinion? What's your views? What's your thoughts? Do you like kind of this abstract design? Um, I really do, actually. Um, I... <laughs> If I wasn't such a stickler for security, I would show you uh, one of the rooms in my house. And uh, remarkably, it's actually decorated in a, an ocean form. Um, and uh, <laughs> this could live in there and you wouldn't probably notice it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just super awesome, super cool. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So please let me know what you guys think. Do you like the 2020 $2 um, turtle? Are you gonna be adding it? Have you added it already? Cause it's been out for a little bit. Um, and yeah, please let me know. Cause I believe the next video I have, um, well, let's put it this way. I, I, I'm gonna purchase them regardless. Uh, so it's going to be a big video. I think it's Friday's video. It'll be a fairly big video. So there you go. So I know you guys are probably curious and interested whilst you're here. Yeah, there is over. And this is all my melt. This is not all my melting silver. I'm not allowed to show it. Forgetting, yeah, forgetting about those. I don't need that. 
It's over 100 ounces. Well, let's do that. That's 100 ounces. 101. And that's all silver. Waiting to be melted down into lovely things. And I've been experimenting. I've been playing with some ideas. Um, and I'm not 100% happy, but I will show you guys a sneak preview of something. So this isn't the thing. So are you ready? Okay. So me too. Boom. Focus on one at a time. These are 10 ounce bars. See here that they're tapered. Believe it or not, they actually are 10 ounce bars. And uh, <laughs> they are chunky. But because these are bullion bars, I've gone through the extensive bit where I have decided I am not going to be messing around with the assay office whilst it was on hold. So we got 10 ounces there and it still needs to get retumbled again because I stamped on it. Well, I stamped it. So this is bar number two, A0002, just for the giggles. And uh, I still got some cleaning up and some stuff to do, but here we go here. 10.21 ounces and it will go down from there because as I said, I wanna make sure that I can just clean it up a bit more before I present it. But this is just a, a simple 10 ounce. I put OZT, I think I might drop the T from this learning from it. Um, I stamped 999 on here. Again, it's a, it's a bit difficult because of the light, there you go. You got the A002, and you got the ACE there, and then we got the 10 OZT, 999, and uh, A001, and again, these will all be super awesome. But I, you know, what I like about these is that they are tapered, so it's not just straight up and down, they actually bow out, and uh. That's something that's, you know, to me is super cool. It was a, it's a design I'm working on at the moment, something I'm doing. But I wanted to offer bullion bars to people and uh, to let them know that, hey, there are bullion bars out there. And uh, that's it. So I'll show these, see if I put them side by side, I'll let you know. Well, degree. Pretty sure if I still want, oh, I can't because I got the. Those are tapered as well. But yeah, so Ace001 and Ace002 for the bullion bars. 20 ounces there, poured silver, and a turtle. If you stayed around and watched, these are available. I think I'm gonna keep A001, maybe, maybe not, but I'm definitely gonna tidy up everything uh, a little bit more before I release them to the public. So if you do want one of those, let me know. Um, it will pretty much be just because they are bullion, uh, not a lot. Nowhere near what I charge normally. So inquire if you do want one. Um, and the fact that obviously because they're bullion and that's all they are, I don't have to go through the expenses of A, sending it off to the assay office, which is the price B paying for them to drill fill and uh, ship it back well drill fill and assay it um, three then for them to ship it back to me and charge tax and then I have to then you know present everything well no these are gonna be as they are um, and uh, it'll be super cool it'll be something that I can offer but right now I'm showing it off in its pre-form um, and you know they don't look that great right now but I wanted to show you guys I need to get my stamping straight a bit more so I'm gonna look at ways I can stamp because I thought I had the zero stamp perfect because everything else is nicely in line but that zeros off it's bugging me um, and then for the most part the 
stamping on the bottom is actually pretty level. So, but yeah, I am looking for just one stamp here uh, across and one stamp that says three nines. So yeah, there you go. Um, just for the record as well, because I know that there's some of you guys like Doctor Who, I believe, maybe, I'm not sure. But that was a six millimeter stamp and then followed by three millimeters. These are all three mils. So there you go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Sorry I made the video a bit longer, but I had to throw in my favorite thing. Oh, well, not my favorite thing, but the best thing for me, which was at the moment, I've done some more pouring. And if you want to see me pour live, make sure you leave a comment. All right, that's enough for me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.